So last night I was feeling a little bit weird going into the challenge because of what happened on Saturday with Adam B and Newman. Um, before that I had been feeling okay. Um, the boat out was Dave, that was that. But um, it got so quiet and there was that weirdness with those two that and I'm starting to get a little suspicious of Newman that I wasn't sure anymore. So I felt a little odd, but it's only so much you can do. And if they're gonna blindside you, they're gonna blindside you, you know. But I had had a talk with Adam K on Saturday night on Skype and I felt we had cleared the air and I felt that we were okay. And I wasn't gonna actively target him anymore. And even when I was targeting him, it wasn't personal, it was game. I didn't want to play with him, I fully admit that. But it wasn't for personal reasons, it was because I can't play the way he plays. It's too chaotic for me. I don't do with chaos. I want to work with people who are strategic. Um, but it was never personal, like, ever. And that tied us back up, which was cool. And then Aaron Katie brought the win home for us, so it was great, yay, we won immunity, won immunity, woohoo, yay! Yeah! And then we get to the individual immunity and Eliza wins. And I knew Eliza was on the block with Clubber in terms of being a target. So I was like, oh shit, Clubber's probably gonna get pushed out now. And then I won immunity, which I was not expecting because I felt like if people had read the directions, I probably wouldn't have won immunity because I didn't get that many right. I really don't think I did. Maybe five, six out of 20. I mean, not great. So, um,. I win because now I have to assign immunity. And that's when my phone blows up. Some people just congratulating me, others saying, what are you gonna do? Newman's telling me to give it to Lane. Lane had been feeling paranoid earlier in the day. Shocker, Lane feeling paranoid, I know. And then I get a text message from Adam K saying help. And asking me to give him immunity because he's gonna get voted out if I don't. And, tell, and then telling me, but he understands if I can't give it to him because of it's too risky, um, that he wouldn't understand. And I couldn't give it to him. And part of me wanted to. Even after all of that crap, part of me wanted to give it to him because if he had called me and said, my car broke down, can you come and get me? I would, I've jumped in my car and gone and gotten him. If he, you know, was passed out somewhere and said, take me to the ER, drop everything and take him to the ER. I mean, he's my friend. I would do anything, you know, for somebody I consider my friend, but it's a move in an online game, and if I had given that to him, it would have, all hell would have broken loose over there. You know, the, the, the targets would have had immunity, Eliza and, and Clubber. It's like, maybe Jeff would have gone. I'm sure that's probably what would have happened, but it would have put their voting period into chaos, and it would have put the allies I had over there, like, suspicious of me. And if I give it to Judd, I have a secret deal with Judd. If I give it to Pam, I have a secret deal with Pam. But people did know I was friends with Lane because Clubber decided to spread it around. And I'm sure other people knew as well, but... And Lane had been a little paranoid, and, and Newman was suggesting I give it to Lane. So I give it to Lane, and Clubber gets voted out. And there's Redemption Island, which is kind of cool. We'll see how that ends up playing into the game. I'll probably end up there soon myself, it seems. <laughs> Uh, so we'll see what happens there, but yeah, I feel like exposed, I feel a target, I just got done marathon messaging with Trevor and he is not telling me what is going on, but he's telling me stuff is going on and he can't trust me. I don't think I can trust Newman anymore, um, I know I can't trust Adam B. So, like, my days I feel are numbered, and I'm not... 100% sure what I can do about it. Trevor says if I tell anyone what he told me, he will not give me any inf more information. So I have to keep it to myself, which is fine, considering I don't trust anyone to give it to anyway. But um, yeah, I don't feel like I'm in a really good spot right now. It was like, there's no win situation last night to me giving immunity out. So. <laughs> Yeah, it would've been great if we were going to tribal to have that, <laughs> you know, that would've been fine. To have to publicly give it to somebody else, yeah, that sucked. <sighs> Everyone's talking about Manly, supposedly. How? Why? Why aren't people talking about, like, Trevor and Tyler? Why aren't people talking about 
Newman and Adam B. Why aren't people talking about, like, Lane and Michelle? Or Lane and Katie? Or, or Katie and Newman? I mean, like, why are people talking about me and Lane? Because we were aligned in Okinawa, okay, but, like, I talked to fucking Lane when the game's not running, like, once a year. I text him and he takes two weeks to text me back. So it's a little frustrating because it's, like... Oh yeah, you're alive. She's alive and lying. She's close with Lane. I voted out freaking Brooke in Ireland and Ozzy in Ireland and Rudy. I mean, and Tom. I mean, you know, I voted out, you know, Brenda in Okinawa. I, I can separate them. I can compartmentalize my feelings. If I have to vote Lane out of this game to prove it, I fucking will, but, but it was game related.